Welcome back to the Metro Madness League. We have the Sin City Cyndaquils going up against the Maniacal Mewtwo's here tonight. The Cyndaquils and the Mewtwo's. Um, I was going to say something about the records, but I forgot the records. <laughs> Excuse me. The Cyndaquils are 2-3, and three, while the Mewtwo's are also 2-3. and three. So, yes, that's what I was thinking. They both, oh, my goodness. Wow. Super effective hit already against the tree code. It goes down. Oh, my goodness. Great move by the Lynn to start things off. I couldn't even get to the records. Oh, wow. Cyndaquil's coming out strong here tonight. They're both 2-3, and three, as I was mentioning. So this battle is important for both these two teams. Neither one of them wants to go 2-4. and four. And, of course, both of them would love to go 3-3. Three and three. So we'll see what happens. There goes the Hyperverse from the Grove Owl, and that's a huge hit. Oh, my gosh. One big move after another. There goes the Grudge, and that could be huge. Lytton is expecting is expecting to be knocked out by this Grove Owl. And it's going to use the Grudge to get rid of all its PP for Metronome. That's huge. That's smart on the Cyndaquils. There goes the Parabolic Charge coming from the Grove Owl. And that will do it. Litten faints. And then there goes the PP for Metronome. Meaning Grove Owl is going to have to struggle. Forcing it to damage itself. Meaning it only has four turns left. That was very smart by the Cyndaquils. They play that very well. The Vanillish coming out for the Cyndaquils. Of course, they trade it with the Sleepers for this Pokemon. Groval's going to go ahead and struggle. That's not doing a lot of damage. This gives them time to set up or do whatever uh, they want to give them more advantage in this battle. We'll see what they do. And Oh, they tried to use a gear up, but it failed. I was going to say, there you go. That's the setup you're looking for. Of course, can't use gear up. Groval going to struggle again. That's the second of the two. Doing a bit more damage, it looked like, or... No, no, but it, it's doing a good amount of damage. But Vanillish goes ahead with the Worry Seed. That's pretty much a wasted turn. It's going to give the Grove Owl Insomnia instead of Overgrow. Um, unfortunately, Grove Owl couldn't use any Grass-type moves anyway because it has to struggle. So, wasted turn. Nonetheless, there goes the struggle. That puts Vanillish in the yellow. Cyndaquils really aren't capitalizing on this, but there's one more turn for this Grove Owl. And there we go, the Magnetic Flux, it fails again. Cyndaquil's wasting, they pretty much wasted every turn that they gained while the Grovile was in struggle. In the meantime, Grovile has dealt a lot of damage with that struggle so far. I, I don't understand what their plan was. Uh, that is very unfortunate. There goes the last struggle from the Grovile. It's going to do quite a bit of damage. I feel like it did 25% of Vanillish's health. Actually didn't faint there. Shouldn't have fainted. It didn't. But there goes the ro razor shell. And that will knock the Grove Owl out. And the Mewtwo's down to their last Pokemon already. Cyndaquil's have two left. But the Vanillish isn't looking too hot right now. As it faces off against the Sceptile. Sceptile going to have to make up for the shortcomings of his teammates. And see if it can do it. It starts things off here. It's going to go ahead with a Calm Mind setting up. Interesting. That might be a good idea for the Mewtwo's. Vanillish hasn't been doing much. They're taking a chance here, thinking it will continue on that trend. They're raising their special attack and special defense. Could help them out in the future. Here comes the Vanillish with, oh, an extreme speed. Extreme speed. Lance does about, yeah, I don't know, a fifth of Sceptile's health. An okay move to use, chipping away at it. There goes the Grassy Glide, though. That is Stab. And that does a ton of damage. Vanillish faints. Good move by the Mewtwo's. And we're down to the last two Pokemon already for these two teams. Interesting battle so far. The Cyndaquils came out strong, but they couldn't capitalize on what they set up. So they have to hope that their Incineroar can play better than the Vanillish. Vanillish, the team synergy just didn't work out between um, it and its teammates, and it just couldn't get anything going after it was uh, put in a good spot by that Litten. There goes the Night Days. That's going to be not very effective. Doing just a little bit of damage to the Incineroar, but also lowering its accuracy, and that could be huge. That could be the difference between winning and losing. There goes a the Shadow Force, though. 
Incineroar going to disappear, avoiding the next move by the Sceptile. This would be a good time for the Mewtwo's to set up if they can manage. Here we go. Mewtwo's goes for a gear grind. That's avoided. Unfortunate for them. And there goes the Shadow Force from the Incineroar. Oh my goodness, what a hit. Sceptile almost in a danger zone. Can't take any more hits like that. Here comes the Sceptile now with a Sing. Interesting. Tried to put it to sleep. That could have helped him out, but it fails. Incineroar going to go again. This time it goes for a Poison Gas. That's avoided as well. That would have put Sceptile on a timer. Unfortunately for the Cyndaquils, it's avoided. The Mewtwo's wiping the sweat off their brow after that near miss. Here comes the Sceptile now. It's going to go with the Soak. Interesting. Going to add the Water Typing to the Incineroar. You have to wonder what they plan to do. Maybe an Electric move or a Stab Grass move. That could be huge. It would make it neutral. Here comes the Moonblast. It's avoided again. Got to remember that Night Days used earlier lowered Incineroar's accuracy, giving the Mewtwo's an advantage here. Here comes the Discharge. After it turned it into a Water-type Pokemon, that's going to be super effective. Incineroar down to 17 HP. What a hit. Excellent job by the Mewtwo's, the Soak, and then the Electric move. But here comes a Glaciate. That's going to land. Can it knock out the Sceptile? It knocks it out. Oh, my goodness. No, it doesn't. Sceptile is making it all with 1 HP. Oh, my goodness. It's down to the wire between these two teams. Sceptile with the Kinesis, lowering the accuracy even further. I would say at this point, you wanted to attack because if Incineroar breaks through these accuracy drops, it's all over for the Mewtwo's. That might have been a bad move. Here comes it uses a workup instead. It's going to raise its attack stats. Is that a good idea? Everyone's setting up right now, but they're in the danger zone. I'm not so sure. Sceptile gets to move first. It's not a great idea for the setup for the from the Cyndaquils. Here comes the Sceptile. It's going to use a Leech Seed. Not only it takes effect at the end of the match, if it if it does, if Incineroar doesn't land a hit, it's going to lose. Everything is riding on this move right here. It's a Dazzling Gleam. Does it land? It does land. The Dazzling Gleam takes out the Sceptile. And what a close match. Oh my goodness. The Incineroar has come away. Excuse me. The Incineroar wins. The Cyndaquils come away with the win there. They're going to go 3-3. Three and three. Mewtwo's 2-4. and four. Unfortunately for them, they got that fourth loss. That might spell the end for their playoff aspirations for this season. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more Metronome Madness. Thank you to our patrons for supporting the channel. We definitely appreciate it. If you want to become a patron as well, links in the description, as well as a link to our Discord. We would love if you joined our community. So follow the link to join the Discord. With that being said, again, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.